Okay, hello and welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a centrifugal clutch that I 3D printed. Uh, so, yeah, if you see here, uh, I started with my own design uh, with like uh, four walls and then four four uh, fourths of a circle, and uh, then uh, the meaning was that when the walls rotate, uh, the circle rotates uh, because uh, the small circles uh, pushes out to the sides uh, and yeah but uh, that didn't work so I have another plan I have a new design uh, so that's where uh, where this comes in this is uh, a design that I took from YouTube yeah it's very good uh, but it's kind of large because otherwise the weight is not enough uh, so yeah, I printed it and there's small walls around that holds everything together. Uh, yeah, and uh, when it spins, where the uh, walls are so thin, uh, pushes out uh, and it keeps uh, spinning because of uh, the four walls that are inside. Here's uh, the centrifugal clutch when it's done. Uh, it uh, rotates uh, really smoothly and I put the screw on the end Yeah, and uh, here's when I tested with uh, my drill and it works kinda uh, I noticed that it's uh, much harder to like stop the outer uh, ring you test it with the drill uh, but uh, this uh, The first drill I use is not that uh, fast. It's strong, but it's not that fast so yeah, I chose another drill that I have that is directly co uh, connected to the wall and that's much better. You see here, it just rips out of my hand and it actually burned me on the side. So yeah, and uh, the plastic also melts itself because uh, P I made it out of uh, PLA and it's just uh, heat resistant up to 60 degrees until it starts to like soften up and uh, melt into each other so yeah but uh, I'm very glad that uh, it finally worked I spent like three days printing and rebuilding and stuff so yeah bye 